What's up everyone and this video is all about Screencast-O-Matic. So let's begin. When the software starts, you see a few options. The frame indicates the recording dimensions. You can move the frame or select the full screen. On the top, you find screen, both and webcam options. While recording the webcam, if you see a black screen, try selecting the webcam. If you can't find the webcam, then there might be some issues with the driver. Anyway, if you select both, you can also change the position of the webcam. Below that, we have the maximum time. Unfortunately, the free version only offers to record a maximum of 15 minutes. Next, we have the video quality. Screencast-O-Matic believes that the full HD means full screen. So if you want to record the custom dimensions, then the recording won't be in full HD. It comes with 480, 720, 1080 pixels and finally an active window option. This option will record the active window. For example, if I click on Microsoft Edge and then click on active window, it will automatically set the dimensions. Anyway, after that we have the narration, which also means the microphone sound option. You can change the microphone by clicking on the arrow. The computer sound option is disabled and it's not available in the free version. Before we begin, the preferences menu offers some hotkeys. I don't use them, but you can use and even change the hotkeys for certain tasks. Alright, let's hit that record button. After the recording has started, you can't change the settings. You will see a small icon with a timer. Sometimes it disappears. But you can always bring it back by opening the software from the taskbar. Anytime, you can stop or pause the recording by clicking on that icon. The pause menu shows the continue record, preview, seek to last and next pause point, time, delete and done buttons. The done button shows a couple of options, save or upload or edit the video. Both options will go to the same screen because we are using the free version. In the premium plan, the edit button goes to the edit screen. We can preview the video with this button. We can crop the video by moving the handles at the beginning and at the end of the video. We can save the video to our computer, upload to YouTube or upload to the Screencast-O-Matic account where we can embed, download and share the video. The premium plan offers to upload to some other devices too, which you can browse by clicking on the button. The edit button is useless because you can't edit in the free version. Now save button of course gives you some other options. You can choose the format. The software offers MP4, AVI and FLV options. You can change the file name. By default it saves the recording with number. You can change the destination folder, it saves a few of most recent folders. You can highlight, hide or just leave the as it is. And finally, you can choose the subtitles files if you have any. Then click on publish and the software will start rendering the video. Now what if you want to share the video or embed it to your site? Well in that case you can save the video to your account. After recording. Instead of saving it to a computer, we will save to our account. Click on upload option and then if you are signed in, you will see a few options come up. If you are not, then you will have to sign in with your account. On the top, it shows your email followed by title, description, custom URL, password, etc. You can change most of these values later. Once done, hit publish. After the publish has finished, you can share the video straight away or go to your account to see more options. You can set the same options or get embed code and paste it on your website. It also offers the dimensions options for the video. Moreover, you can share and download the video to your computer. Alright, that's all Screencast-O-Matic free does. I hope the tutorial helped. To see the premium plan tutorial, see the cards or description. If the video is not there, then it's not yet published. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope the video helped. 
let me know your views in the comments and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos.